Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Oh, boy, do I got a treat for you folks today, man. I got a freaking treat here, okay? The address... 13855 Lorraine, Cleveland, 44111, okay? Four-unit building priced at $199.9. And you know what this building has, folks? This building has the greatest tenants you can get. <laughs> that's, that's funny, right? I don't know if you think that's funny. I think that's funny to say that, right? This building has the best tenants ever. These tenants are unlike other tenants, okay? The reason I find that so funny is because it seems like every time I talk to a seller, they're trying to sell me a song about how their tenants are so much better or more special than other tenants, right? Been doing this a long time, folks. It sold over $200 million worth of Cleveland rental real estate, right? We're the number one t gig in town for this type of stuff, helping investors, this or that, right? And then when you've sold over $200 million worth of rental real estate, that means you've dealt with a lot of tenants. You've dealt with a lot of buyers. You've dealt with a lot of sellers, right? And without fail, folks, every seller I talk to, whether they want to tell me their tenants are special <laughs> or they want to tell me their property's special in some way, like, hey, bro, I hate to break it to you, but your duplex... Yeah, it's just like all the other fucking duplexes in town, okay? Hey, bro, your C-grade tenants, yeah, they're just like all the other C-grade tenants. Your B-grade tenants, they're pretty much just like the other B-grade tenants, okay? And nobody cares, right? But you get these sellers, man. They always want to tell you how great their tenants are, right? So that's why I find it so ironic that I am on my show telling you how great the tenants are in this property, but... In this situation, it's actually true, okay? Now, what we have, right, it's just a regular run-of-the-mill mixed-use uh, apartment building in Cleveland, okay? There's two, two ones, right, two residential units. Nothing to see here, nothing special, nothing fancy, bro, just like every other friggin' two-one. No big deal. As far as the retail goes, right, it's technically two units right now. It's been combined. Dude's rent it for twelve hundred total, right? He's running a little little corner store, grocery store action, right? Ain't nothing special about that grocery store, okay? That's not what I'm trying to say here, right? So normally you get a mixed use building, and we're gonna sell it around the two hundred or so thousand dollar price point, okay? Nothing fancy, nothing special between the two residential units and the two uh, retail units that have been converted into one right now. All that's normal, bro. It's, just like everything else in the C-grade stuff. Ain't nothing fancy, but I want you to bring your attention to the roof, baby. To the roof. You see what that is? That's four billboards, boy. Four billboards, okay? And I can tell you unequivocally, ain't no better tenant than a fucking billboard. Oh, man. You know what a billboard tenant doesn't do? A billboard tenant doesn't live in your apartment rent-free. A billboard tenant doesn't cry that they lost their job due to COVID. A billboard tenant doesn't break windows. A billboard tenant's boyfriend doesn't kick her in the face. A billboard tenant doesn't get drunk and get arrested and forget to pay rent. A billboard tenant doesn't kick a hole in your wall. A billboard tenant doesn't bring in bed bugs. I don't need to continue to go on. You get the point. A billboard tenant doesn't call you to complain about the neighbor's noise. All right, that was the last one. But you get the point, okay? These are all things billboard tenants don't do. Billboard tenants don't cost you any money, right? Other tenants, they bring in revenue, but guess what? In exchange for that revenue, they bring in costs. They bring in management duties, things of that nature. Billboard, no. That's pay and play, baby. They kick in money and you just keep it, dog. That it. They don't use electricity. They don't use this. They don't use that. Billboard. Well, actually, 
Uh, they, they may be using a little bit of, uh, like, common electricity now that I think about that. I didn't look at them too close. If there's lights there, they would, they would use a little electricity, right? But they don't use gas. They don't use water. They don't use Internet. They don't do this. They don't do that, right? They don't bother you, okay? And we got a huge upside here, right? Because uh, for those of you that have never actually uh, rented billboards out before, right? Uh, I mean, you could do it two ways. One way is the way you should do it. And the other way, I mean, unless you understand marketing and, and running a billboard advertising agency, uh, it's not the way you want to do it, right? What what most folks do, what most landlords do, what we would encourage you to do, because unless you're a friggin' ad executive, it's the only thing that really makes sense, right? You would rent all four billboards to an ad agency, right? Like somebody like Clear Channel, right? Huge company, right? And then from there, they will sell the ad space, right? So... Uh, that's what this particular owner did 20 years ago. It was a 20-year lease at $312 a month. Now, with current rental rates, uh, I'm guesstimating that Clear Channel is probably charging like between $700 and $1,000 a month on each of those billboards, right? So, if, uh, or, or our company like Clear Channel. I'm not 100% sure if it was actually Clear Channel, uh, but they are the largest company doing billboards uh, in our market, right? Uh, so I'm not sure. Right. If they're exactly what they're charging at the moment to their end customers. But let's say a company uh, was charging a thousand bucks a billboard. That means they're bringing home four K a month. Right. To sell ad space on the billboards on your building. Right. So three twelve. That contract's now expired. It's on month to month. It's time to get down and renegotiate. Right. So. What would be reasonable for us? We could possibly get the contract as high as $1,000 a month, right? Assuming they're ripping off four k a month, we could probably get them to give us close to 1000 right? And that would be $1,000 that doesn't get drunk, doesn't lose its job, doesn't leave the windows open, doesn't break the windows, doesn't do this, doesn't do that, right? Billboards really are the best tenants. And that, folks, is why this property sets itself up from anything else, right? Because I got a bunch of mixed-use stuff in the Cleveland market. You want to buy it. Price is usually going to be about 200, 200 grand for something like this, right? This one comes with a little bonus, right? It comes with the extra income, and that income happens to be the best tenants there are. So you bet your ass you're going to be dealing with a bidding war to get into this sucker, right? Cash offers are preferred. We will accept commercially financed offers. If you want to take this sucker down, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If it's cash offer, include your proof of funds. If it's the financed offer, include your pre-approval letter. If you don't have lenders, hit us up. We'll hook you up with some, but I anticipate this one flying because... <laughs> It's got the best tenants in the world. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.